Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Caldo de Pesci. A flavorful fish soup made with various fish, vegetables, and spices. Caldo de Pesci is a flavorful fish soup that is a popular and comforting dish in Guinea-Bissau, as well as in other West African countries with coastal regions. As the name suggests, caldo means soup and pesci means fish in Portuguese, which is the official language of Guinea-Bissau. Here's an overview of how caldo de pesci is typically prepared. Fish selection. The main ingredient of caldo de pesci is fresh fish. Various types of fish are used, depending on availability and preference. Common choices include snapper, grouper, tilapia, or any other firm-fleshed fish suitable for soups. Preparation. The fish is thoroughly cleaned, gutted, and often cut into large chunks. The head, bones, and other trimmings are usually used to make the fish stock, while the larger pieces of fish will be used in the final soup. Fish stock. The fish trimmings, along with vegetables like onions, garlic, celery, and carrots, are simmered in water to create a flavorful fish stock. The stock is the base of the soup and adds depth of flavor to the dish. Seasoning. The soup is seasoned with a variety of herbs and spices, such as bay leaves, thyme, and sometimes hot peppers for a bit of heat. The combination of spices may vary depending on regional preferences. Additions. Caldo de pesci often includes other ingredients such as diced potatoes, plantains, yams, and various vegetables like tomatoes, bell peppers, and okra. These additions add texture and make the soup more satisfying. Cooking. The fish stock, fish chunks, and vegetables are combined, and the soup is simmered until all the ingredients are cooked through and the flavors have melded together. Serving. Caldo de pesci is usually served hot and can be enjoyed on its own or with a side of rice or bread. It is often garnished with fresh herbs like cilantro or parsley. Caldo de pesci is a comforting and nourishing dish that highlights the bounty of the sea and the vibrant flavors of West African cuisine. It is a popular choice for both everyday meals and special occasions, and its delicious taste has made it a beloved part of Guinea-Bissau's culinary traditions. Dibby. Grilled skewered meat, usually served with onions and a spicy sauce. Dibi is a popular street food and traditional dish in West Africa, particularly in Senegal and the Gambia. It is a delicious grilled meat dish, usually made with lamb or sometimes with other meats like chicken or beef. Dibi is a flavorful and savory treat that is loved by locals and visitors alike. Here's an overview of how Dibi is typically prepared. Choice of meat. The most common meat used for Dibi is lamb. Lamb pieces, typically small chunks or cuts, are the traditional choice. However, some variations may use other meats like chicken or beef. Marination. The meat is marinated in a mixture of spices and seasonings, which may include onions, garlic, ginger, mustard, lemon juice, vinegar, and a blend of aromatic herbs and spices. The marinating process allows the flavors to penetrate the meat, making it tender and flavorful. Skewering. After marinating, the meat is threaded onto skewers, often made from metal or soaked wooden sticks. The skewering allows for even grilling and adds a rustic charm to the presentation. Grilling. The skewered meat is grilled over an open flame, on a barbecue, or on a griddle. The grilling process imparts a smoky flavor to the meat, and the caramelization of the marinade enhances its taste. Serving. Dibi is typically served hot and is often accompanied by sliced onions and a spicy dipping sauce. It is commonly served with a side of baguette or rice and sometimes with a simple salad or grilled vegetables. Dibi is more than just a dish, it is a cultural tradition and a social experience in West Africa. Dibi stands can be found in many streets and markets, especially during evenings, where people gather to enjoy this delectable treat together. The tantalizing aroma of grilled meat and the sight of sizzling skewers make Dibi a popular choice for both locals and visitors looking to savor the authentic flavors of West African cuisine. Camarao Grelhado. Grilled prawns or shrimp seasoned with spices and herbs. Camarao grelhado is a popular dish in Guinea-Bissau and other West African countries, especially those with coastal regions. In Portuguese, camarao means shrimp or prawn, and grelhado translates to grilled. As the name suggests, camarao grelhado is a flavorful and succulent grilled shrimp dish that showcases the bountiful seafood available in the region. Here's an overview of how camarao grelhado is typically prepared. Selection of shrimp. The key ingredient, of course, is fresh shrimp or prawns. 
Ideally, large and deveined shrimp are used for Camarao grelhado, as they grill well and retain their tenderness. Marination. The shrimp are usually marinated in a mixture of olive oil, garlic, lemon or lime juice, chopped herbs like parsley or cilantro, and a blend of spices such as paprika, black pepper, and sometimes chili powder for added heat. The marination imparts a delightful blend of flavors and helps to tenderize the shrimp. Skewering. The marinated shrimp are then threaded onto skewers, either individually or in groups, to make grilling easier and prevent them from falling through the grill grates. Grilling. The skewered shrimp are grilled over an open flame, barbecue, or griddle until they are cooked through and have a slightly charred and smoky flavor. The grilling process enhances the natural sweetness of the shrimp and adds depth to their taste. Serving. Camarao grelhado is typically served hot and is often accompanied by sliced onions and a squeeze of fresh lemon or lime juice for added zing. It can be enjoyed on its own as a flavorful appetizer or as a main course alongside rice, salad, or grilled vegetables. Camarao grelhado is a delightful seafood dish that celebrates the abundance of fresh shrimp found in the coastal regions of West Africa. Its simple yet delicious preparation allows the natural flavors of the shrimp to shine making it a popular choice for seafood lovers and a must-try dish for anyone exploring the rich culinary offerings of Guinea-Bissau and beyond. Pau Com Marmalada Bread with Guava Jam, a popular sweet treat Pau Com Marmalada is a classic Portuguese treat that is also popular in Guinea-Bissau and other Portuguese-influenced regions. Pau means bread in Portuguese, and marmalada refers to quince jam, a sweet and aromatic fruit preserve. Here's an overview of Pau Com Marmalada. Bread. The dish starts with a loaf of crusty Portuguese bread, often similar to baguette or another type of artisanal bread. The bread is typically sliced into thick pieces, perfect for spreading the marmalada. Marmalada. Marmalada is a traditional quince paste or jam made from quince fruit. The quince is peeled, cored, and simmered with sugar and water until it thickens into a smooth and sticky spread. The resulting marmalada has a distinctive sweet and tangy flavor, with hints of citrus and spices. Combining. Pau Com Marmalada is made by simply spreading a generous layer of marmalada on a slice of bread. The bread's crustiness provides a delightful contrast to the smooth and sweet marmalada. Serving. Pau Com Marmalada is often enjoyed as a delicious snack, a sweet treat for breakfast, or as a dessert. It is commonly served with a cup of coffee or tea, making it a delightful pairing. Marmalada has a long history in Portugal, and its popularity has spread to other Portuguese-speaking regions, including Guinea-Bissau. Pau Com Marmalada offers a delightful taste of the country's colonial past and the enduring influence of Portuguese cuisine in the region. It is a simple yet delightful combination of flavors that showcases the sweetness of the quince jam against the backdrop of crusty bread. Whether enjoyed as a special treat or a daily indulgence, Pau Com Marmalada is a delightful combination of flavors and a beloved part of the culinary traditions in the region. Amendoim Torado Roasted Peanuts, a common street snack Amendoim Torado is a popular street snack in Guinea-Bissau and other Portuguese-speaking regions. In Portuguese, Amendoim translates to peanuts, and Torado means roasted. As the name suggests, Amendoim Torado is simply roasted peanuts, but the roasting process enhances the flavor of the peanuts, making them a delicious and addictive snack. Here's an overview of how amendoim torado is typically prepared. Selection of peanuts. The main ingredient for amendoim torado is raw peanuts in their shells. The peanuts should be fresh and of good quality to ensure a flavorful snack. Roasting. The peanuts are typically roasted in their shells. They can be roasted in an oven, on a stovetop, or in large roasting drums or pans. The roasting process involves heating the peanuts at a moderate temperature until they turn a golden brown color and emit a nutty aroma. Cooling and peeling. After roasting, the peanuts are allowed to cool down to a comfortable temperature. Once cooled, the outer shells are usually peeled off to reveal the delicious roasted peanuts inside. Seasoning. While amendoim torado is often enjoyed as plain roasted peanuts, some variations may include seasoning the peanuts with salt, spices, or even a hint of chili for added flavor. Serving. Amendoim torado is typically served in small portions or in paper cones, making it easy to carry and enjoy as a portable snack. It is a common sight at street vendors and local markets. Amendoim torado is loved for its simplicity and deliciousness. The roasting process brings out the natural nutty flavors of the peanuts, making them crunchy and satisfying to munch on. 
It is a popular snack during social gatherings, parties, and as an accompaniment to drinks. Whether enjoyed on its own or with a refreshing beverage, a Mendoim Torado is a delightful street snack that adds a touch of nutty goodness to the culinary delights of Guinea-Bissau and beyond.